All right, now, all right. Hear me out and let me explain. So, just a couple of minutes ago, I was on Bleach Report doing a live stream, and the subject of that live stream was potential targets that the Baltimore Ravens could acquire via their draft capital, whether it was rookies in the draft or proven players so we went through a couple of rookies that the baltimore ravens could potentially pick but then we talked about some proven players as well and some of the proven players that we listed we talked about marshawn Lattimore, cornerback from the saints we talked about brandon Ayuk, wide receiver from the 49ers and we then we threw in t higgins in there we know that one's not necessarily so realistic but we threw him in there anyway but i, I was looking at the comment section during the live stream on bleach report and somebody made a very inter a couple of interesting proposals for the Baltimore Ravens to possibly acquire via trade at the wide receiver position. And I was thinking, like, what? Now, before we get into it, I don't want to hear that. Oh, well, we need offensive linemen. What are you guys doing talking about wide receiver? We know that the Ravens still need offensive linemen. We're not saying that, oh, well, just get a uh, wide receiver and then be done with it. No, so don't do that. Stop trying to kill the vibe, man. Anyway, um, a couple of people mentioned DK Metcalf. And somebody met, when somebody mentioned DK Metcalf, I was like, whoa, hold up now. That could really be something. Because if I take you back a couple of years ago, I remember Lamar Jackson. This is Lamar Jackson, him tweeting himself. Because we know that he'd be tweeting everything from his Twitter account. Lamar Jackson. Can't, he tweeted DK Metcalf. It was when it was looking like the Seahawks may, they let, may move on from him, possibly, maybe. But Lamar Jackson, he tweeted DK Metcalf. He said, look, and I'm paraphrasing now. But he said, you one of them guys. Now, now, now we got some guys on our team already. But you one of them guys, too. So, hey come through now it obviously didn't happen uh but when you really think about the possibility of a dk metcalf with the baltimore ravens like think about it and i know a lot of ravens fans are still upset about the 2019 draft because they feel like dk metcalf should have been a baltimore raven back then that was the draft where they drafted hollywood brown and with dk metcalf being a second round pick he was sitting there waiting ready available but obviously the Baltimore Ravens went in a different direction. Now, I will say that had DK Metcalf joined the Baltimore Ravens back then, I do not think that he would be the DK Metcalf that he is today. Uh, but anyway, he is currently the DK Metcalf that he is today, and he is doing just fine. And he is an amazing wide receiver. Somebody that we talked about years ago, but now with this new regime of the Seattle Seahawks is it possible that with the Baltimore Ravens current connection to the Seattle Seahawks that that could make facilitating the trade even easier I don't know again we just it's just an idea so relax but they just hired somebody who's pretty familiar with the Baltimore Ravens pretty familiar with their staff their coaching staff the owners everybody that being Mike McDonald the head coach he would just make the transaction that much easier. He really would. Now, I know it's a lot of people going to say, too, we don't need a wide receiver. We got Zay Flowers, which we do. Great. We got Rashad Bateman, question mark right there. We got Nelson Aguilar. We got Tylen Wallace. We got some receivers already. But think about this, and this is something, a conversation that we've had to have a lot of times, especially this offseason. With Rashad Bateman, I know it's there. You know it's there. Well, a lot of y'all don't feel like it's there, but I, I do. I feel like Rashad Bateman, he got it. it, it it's there. It's, it's, it's in him. It's just a matter of time before that potential. It, we ain't just talking about potential anymore. We seeing it on a consistent basis. It's there. But... In my opinion, the Ravens, they can't afford to continue to just bank on potential. I like Rashad Bateman a lot. And I hope that Rashad Bateman goes out there and kills it this year. Well, that's whether they pick up the fifth-year option. Or not. I just hope he goes out there and does his thing. And we can really get to really see, all right, oh, there he goes. That's that first-round draft pick. There goes Bate right there. That's what we've been waiting on this whole time. But... You can't 
rely on it. And in my opinion, you can, not saying that you can't count on bait, but I don't think it would be wise of the Baltimore Ravens to be like, all right, we're going to put all of our eggs into the Rashad Bateman basket. Again, not saying he's obviously not a bad player. Rashad Bateman be getting open, he be doing his thing. But him and Lamar Jackson, that, that connection is just, it's not there yet. And I know what somebody's going to say. They're going to say, whoa, hold up. Well, why would you bring in another wide receiver if Lamar Jackson and Rashad Bateman, if their connection not even on point yet, why would you bring in somebody else at the same position? Wouldn't that mess up everything with their connection? No, it wouldn't. Because... Rashad Bateman, he's been here for years. And, and, and I get it. And I've explained this to people before. I just, it's been a timing thing with him and Lamar Jackson. I'll explain it again right now. Rashad Bateman's rookie year. Um, came on the scene. And I was hyped when, when we tried to Rashad Bateman. I was like, yes. Oh, oh man, I loved it. Because that's what, exactly who I wanted the Baltimore Ravens to draft in the first round. Drafted Rashad Bateman his rookie year. Uh, but then. Early on in his rookie year in training camp, he got hurt. I think he had a uh, groin injury, and that was back then. John Harbaugh famous. Oh, Rashad Bateman is day-to-day. <laughs> yeah, right. He ain't end up being day-to-day. He ended up missing for months. But anyway, so Rashad Bateman, he missed a lot of training camp, missed a lot of the offseason, missed a lot of the beginning of the regular season. So Lamar Jackson and company, they were doing stuff without him. So I was like, man, ah, oh, it sucks. But hopefully we get our rookie back soon. He came on the scene, and him and Lamar Jackson, that chemistry was there. Because I was thinking, all right, well, we're getting Rashad Bateman back, but he ain't really going to do too much. No, he came on the scene. Every catch was like a first down, and he was doing all this stuff, making all these plays and stuff. It's like, all right, there you go. Let's go. But then Lamar Jackson got hurt, and that messed everything up. So then the following season, Rashad Bateman, he was dealing with something during the offseason. Lamar Jackson, he got back healthy, so he was there during the offseason, but Rashad Bateman was dealing with something. And they just, the chemistry just, it was a little bit off. But then about a month and change into the season, Rashad Bateman, I think he had like a foot injury. I think that's what it was. He had a foot injury. So then uh, after he played like maybe a couple snaps in that Bucks ravens game, because we had went to that game. Fun game. Glad the Baltimore Ravens won. Did a thing. I saw a lot of Ravens fans out there. We had a blast. Great, fun stadium too. Shout out to the DJ. They got the best DJ, in my opinion, in the NFL. I ain't been in many NFL stadiums, so maybe I can't say that. But anyway. That game against the Bucks, Rashad Bateman played a couple snaps, came off the field, he was done. Uh, and then a couple days later, oh, oh, well, we're ending Rashad Bateman's season. He's elected to have a surgery uh, that he's gonna, so he can be ready for next year. So, oh, okay. Well, that certainly doesn't help chemistry. So then the following year, um, Lamar Jackson, Rashad Bateman, they both healthy, both healthy for the off season, but then Rashad Bateman, he would be missing a lot of practices and stuff. I think they said he had like back issues. There was something he was, but he was hurt this past off season. So he, he ended up missing a lot of time. And then he ended up missing some games in the regular season too. So I just felt like with him and Lamar, they just timing has been thrown off with Zay flowers. Oh, that connection is there for sure. With Mark Andrews, obviously Mark Andrews, their connection there. But even with Isaiah Likely, with Isaiah Likely, it's there to like it is it's something. It's just something different when when it comes to those guys versus Rashad Bateman. It's, it's just something different, and and it may be something other than the injury. But the, the the injuries and the time that they've missed apart from each other, that certainly doesn't help. It's not the end all be all, but it certainly hasn't helped the situation. But this is why I'm saying that, in my opinion, the Baltimore Ravens should help the situation at the position to bring in somebody established, bring in somebody who is like that already. And you can still keep Rashad Bateman and still hope that he continues to grow, but make that position even stronger. Now, with, with a DK Metcalf, you look at the production, it's, it's there. DK Metcalf don't do nothing but produce. Like we 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 already know that. Like look, just look look at this, let's look at these numbers just for fun. 2019, 58 catches, 900 yards, seven touchdowns. That was his rookie year. This is his rookie year. Uh, then his sophomore season, 83 catches, 1300 yards, 10 touchdowns. So again, the production is I ain't worried about the production. Uh, 2021. 75 catches, 967 yards, 12 touchdowns. So 
His yards dropped, his catches dropped, his touchdowns went up. Average dropped a little bit, too. 2022, 90 catches, 1,048 yards, 6 touchdowns. 2023, 66 catches, 1,100 yards, 8 touchdowns. So it's there. The production is there. Now, I, I, I would not expect it. Ooh, well, 66 catches and 1,100 yards. Oh, that ain't bad at all. Hey, that would be perfect for the Baltimore Ravens. Because what I was getting ready to say, with DK Metcalf, and, and really Baltimore Ravens, I wouldn't expect him to get – Crazy numbers like he's getting. I don't. Wanna, I wouldn't expect. I would expect his production to be a lot different, uh, to where the catches go down and the yards may go down a bit too, but the average goes up. You know, Lamar Jackson, he's gonna throw them deep balls. But uh, and then with DK Metcalf, there's the yak too. But with DK Metcalf, when you think about the potential of somebody like him on this Baltimore Ravens offense, you think about one of the biggest words uh, that I think about is attention. Attention. DK Metcalf would command and demand attention and respect. So many Ravens fans have been talking about this offseason. Oh, we need an X receiver. We need an X receiver. We need an X receiver. There you go. All yours. Well, not all yours. He's all Seahawks right now. But he would be just great. He'd just be such a great fit. And then another thing, back to Bateman uh, and also DK Metcalf too. The element of the backyard football, the element when everything breaks down, what do you do? Because that is so important. Obviously, not every single play is going to be backyard football, and we get that. You're going to have to have timing routes. You're going to have to have scheduled stuff. We get it, and that's important. That's part of football. That's part of being a quarterback. That's part of being a receiver or a pass catcher in general because you got tight ends, running backs, all that. But when everything breaks down, when things ain't going right, Hey, what are you going to do? Who can you count on? And we saw last year, yeah, he did fumble at the goal line. We get it. But we saw last year, rookie year. Say Flowers stepped up. He really, and yeah, one play that he messed up on doesn't change that he was phenomenal last year. He had a great season last year. I mean, we get it. The, the biggest thing that people remember is obviously the negative because it happened at the worst possible time. It sucked bad. But Say Flowers was amazing for the Baltimore Ravens last year. And he was a rookie. He was a rookie. And even with how great he was, there were opportunities that they missed. Because there will be times where Say Flowers be wide open. And Lamar missed them sometimes. A lot of times when Say Flowers be open, Lamar got him, but. There were opportunities that they and, and they, we get it. Like there's gonna be tough. every quarterback gonna miss. So I ain't out here saying, "Oh man, well Lamar." No, no, every quarterback they miss. But I'm just emphasizing how great of a season that he had and how big his impact was on these Baltimore Ravens. But again, you imagine pairing that with a DK Metcalf. Ooh, I wouldn't be mad at that. 